The Art of the Brick has been voted one of the top 10 must-see exhibitions by CNN and features the mind-blowing talent of creator Nathan Sawaya, who gave up a career in law to play with Lego full-time and create large-scale figures and portraits. Well, I have sculpted out of more traditional media over the years. I've done sculptures out of clay, out of wire. And it was just one day I thought, what about this toy from my, from my childhood? Could I create large-scale sculptures using just Lego bricks? So I started experimenting, and I, I actually put artwork up on a website and, and just wanted to see how people would react. It was kind of my virtual gallery. And people started commissioning work from me, and eventually I would go on to just make a full-time living out of creating art solely out of Lego. All of the artworks for the exhibition took more than 41,000 hours to complete as a single artist, and each individual block within the sculptures is glued together for protection and preservation during his journeys around the world. Using a toy as my art medium really makes the art very accessible. People can relate to it. Um, I think, you know, if people go to a museum and they see a marble statue, they can appreciate it. If they go home at night, very doubtful they'll have marble at their house they can start chipping away at. But people have this toy, they have Lego bricks, and so it allows them to connect to the art on a very different level, and hopefully it inspires them. Because I know a lot of people contact me after they see the exhibition. They go home and they start creating, they dig out their Lego bricks and start building on their own, and that, that's awesome. The largest sculpture Nathan has made is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is six meters long and consists of 50,000 Lego blocks. He has also done an entire advertising billboard using half a million pieces of Lego. So my role is to inspire others, but for me, the inspiration comes from all sorts of things. I have multiple exhibitions that are on tour, so I do get to travel quite a bit. And I use that. I, I get to meet a lot of different folks from a lot of different parts of the world, a lot of different cultures. And I use that for inspiration. I, uh, I always carry a little sketchbook with me, and I just jot down ideas as I'm traveling. Surprisingly, Nathan only occasionally uses technology to assist with his creations. For the most part, he goes by sight and feel when building the sculptures, which is impressive and proves how versatile a Lego brick can be. I hope when folks come to the watershed here and see the Art of the Brick exhibition, I hope they, they come and they're inspired. I mean, there's something for the whole family here. There are pieces that are fun and just full of whimsy that children might enjoy more. There's some pe pieces that have a little more emotion to them that are, maybe adults would enjoy more. But all of it's made out of Lego bricks, and I think we can all relate to that. And that makes it really an experience for the whole family. This phenomenal display will be at the watershed at Cape Town's v &A waterfront until the end of February 2015. Whether you're a local or visiting the mother city, visit the Art of the Brick and see how a simple toy can be reimagined as fine art.